back with another video and as y'all seen in our previous video we made goat meat stew with beef we made a goosey and then we started on the um the hen and i did make my meats separate i put my beefs together and then i did my hen by itself um so now we're going to start on the jollof rice yeah if i can tell y'all this has been a long process i don't even know what time i started cooking but this is my first time making all of this and remember that my goat curry curry is jamaican goat curry it's a recipe that i have so y'all make sure y'all go back watch those videos because i i had to split them in so many different um sections because i didn't i know nobody would want to watch a two hour long video so i split it into the different um things that i cook so i did my agusa one video then i did the beef in one video and some of the chicken um the chicken and the beef is kind of made the same just a tiny bit ingredient difference but it's kind of made the same so now we're going to start off with the jollof rice a lot of people say that this is a hard thing to cook or a hard thing to do but i have been told by my little friend that i just met at this african store that i went to that it is easy so she was so nice and kind to write down all of her recipes for each um dish so she got the uh agusa agusi um she has the real stew is that what she called it i think she called it real stew and then she have the jollof rice so or maybe this beef but anyways that might be beef stew but anyhow um so i have blended my vegetables because i guess it's a big thing to blend your vegetables instead of letting them cook into your food um i guess you get the best flavors when you blend them before um adding them instead of sauteing them or different things like that you blend them so that's pretty cool so that's what i did um i was supposed to have green bell pepper i ran out of green bell pepper but i had some red and orange peppers which i think one of them is sweet but this is rice so i feel like it'll 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 be okay it'll be okay um so let's get started so right now her first thing is to say in a pot of water in a pot add water then your mix so this is my water already i have already put water in here so i'm going to go ahead and add this mix that i have already blended and you're also supposed to add tomato however i don't have a tomato and i was i think i was supposed to be laying my tomato paste in here too y'all which i didn't do but it's okay so i blend all of that together oh so then i add the tomato paste in this pot of water as well so i'm gonna so this is not the full can of tomato paste i have used um like a tablespoon in my chicken um stew that i'm making and also a tablespoon in my um beef curry or curry and so i'm gonna use the rest of it into this in this rice so no more of this just a small can and this is basically tomato paste that's all this is it's tomato paste it's just a different brand i bought it from the african store not sure how much i paid for it but i know i spent like 80 dollars in the african store so i'm sure that's the reason why the lady was so nice and gave me her recipe as well okay so i'm gonna Okay, so I got all of this in here. I'm just kind of trying to stir the paste around. As y'all can see, it's turning to be an orange red. And then we're gonna add a stick of butter to this. We're gonna add a stick of butter to this. 
Okay, the only thing about her recipe, she did not give me, um, she didn't give me portion sizes, so, but the sticker butter. So everything that I'm doing is kind of like, you know, by what I think should be. So sticker butter, add the curry, just go. So I did the thyme, let me show you. I just sprinkle thyme in there. Yeah, I put my plate on, I mean my pot on here cause I'm starting to mess up my countertop, so. Yeah, I don't know why this doesn't open. But I'm only gonna do a tablespoon of this car, this uh, stuff because it's hot. So I don't want to put too much in there because my kids will be eating this and they, I don't want them to be saying it's hot. So that, that. Um, I need a little vegetable oil, which I feel like I can skip out on that vegetable oil, salt. I can skip out on it. Well, no because salt helps it stop from sticking to the pan as well. So let me get And let me tell y'all, I have not added salt to any of my dishes. If it's not salt in the seasoning that I use, I have not added salt. So this will be the first dish that I put salt in. And because I have this onion powder, or this is garlic powder, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here. It'll be fine. Garlic powder, onion powder, I, I put that in all of my stuff and it's always make it taste very good. Okay, y'all, so I got everything in here. I am going to sit this on the stove and let it boil. Once everything is boiled, I'm gonna add my rice, which I have already cleaned. I love you too, what are you doing? So, it doesn't tell me where to add this crayfish. I, yeah, this was supposed to go somewhere. Apparently I missed it. Maybe it was supposed to go in my agusa, agusi. I ain't put it in there. So maybe next time, but this was supposed to go in something and I missed whatever it was supposed to go in. Maybe next time, cause I did my own type of stuff too, also, so. That could be partial, the reason. Oh yeah, and I do have this jollof rice seasoning. It's seasoning powder. I'm gonna add this, let me see. I'm gonna also add this to my water that I have. So, let's see if y'all look. Okay, y'all look high as y'all can get. Let me show y'all the mixture right now. How it's looking. Can't really show y'all. Let me let y'all look down instead of me going up. Excuse my belly. There we go. So that's what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna bring it to the a boil. I'm gonna bring it to the a boil. And I think, you know what? Ooh, it's red. It's red, child. I'm gonna add it in there. Okay. I'm gonna add it in there. I don't know. Let's read it. A bunch of different colors in this stuff. Oh, I think it is supposed to look red. It helped my rice be red, I think. Food is smelling good. She gonna be sleep, y'all. It is really, if y'all can see, this say 1225. It's really 11 something at night. I don't know what time I started cooking, but 
I don't really care because it's really for tomorrow. See, it's 11.28 at night. Y'all, this camera was so messy. Look, I got it clean now. Only thing left is my rice. My uncooked rice. So, tip, clean while you cook. So when you're done, you don't really have much to do. Yeah, while they're trying to cook. While they're trying to cook, we're gonna bring in some of this hood stuff over here. What's a wild word and got some cool? Too late, so long, y'all. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. But I'm letting it heat up. It just take it's taking forever. Yeah, I literally just had two bags of sugar and I don't see how I want. You don't even drink sugar in this house like that. That's the crazy part. But anyhow, I'll use this. It do take a lot of sugar to make you love it. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking this so long to melt. 
this butter is taking long. And I think it's because my pot is not, I'm actually, I don't know what it needs to be. Because it's definitely not boiling. Back to the Kool-Aid drawer. Look at all the sugar at the bottom of this thing. Oh my goodness. Got us a drink made. I'm gonna slice this up. I want a lemon in there, but I ain't gonna put it in there because some people may say it's. But let me let y'all see it's boiling, boiling, boiling. So it's boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Mama, the I'm gonna go ahead and add this rice to it. Rice? this one time just this once only to make sure that the rice is coming like evenly down there and not just the one spot step back this tissue went in the house blow your nose, blow your nose. Okay. all them spices so it make you sneeze okay y'all let me show y'all how it's looking and then I uh uh 